Let us now take question number 7. It says if x squared minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0, then find the value of x squared plus x plus 1 by x plus 1 by x squared. And the answer options here are 10, 4, 12 and 8. So what can we do? There is a quadratic equation x squared minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. We can simplify this quadratic equation and find out the two values of x, right? We know how to simplify a quadratic equation. Either use the formula that is minus b plus or minus root over b squared minus 4ac by 2a or factorize the given equation so that we can easily find out the two values of x that satisfy the given equation. Now once you have got the values of x, we can substitute that value in the given expression here and find out the required answer. But if you really look at the given quadratic equation, it, it looks to be a complicated one, right? Uh, finding out uh, using factorization is not so simple here since a into c is equal to 1 and b is equal to minus 3. So splitting b as b1 plus b2 such that b1 into b2 equals to a into c looks to be a little complicated here, right? I am referring to the factorization method of solving a quadratic equation, right? You can refer the video on quadratic equations to understand what a, b and c means here, right? So even if we simplify, we'll get some value of x in terms of thirds, right? It will have some uh, irrational number that we get. And again, substituting that irrational number in this complicated expression, x squared plus x plus 1 by x plus 1 by x squared will take a lot of time, right? Let's, let's see what actually the value of x is, right? We get x squared minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. So a into c equals to 1, b is minus 3. I think splitting that is a little complicated. Let's go ahead with the formula. So we can say x will be equal to minus b which is 3 plus or minus root over b squared. b squared is 9 minus 4ac. So 4ac will be 4 into 1 into 1, 4 divided by 2a. So what do we get? 3 plus or minus 9 minus 4 is root 5 by 2. So the values of x are you can you know either take 3 plus root 5 by 2 or 3 minus root 5 by 2. But then substituting any of these values of x in this expression is going to get complicated, right? We'll end up wasting a lot of time. So I think finding out the value of x and then substituting in the given expression is not going to be the best solution. We'll have to use uh, some other method and find out the required answer. So let's see how do we get the answer here. Now look at the expression x squared minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. From this can we say x squared plus 1 equals to 3x? Yes, x squared plus 1 equal to 3x. Let us divide both the sides by x, right? We are dividing both the sides by x. Divide both sides by x. Well, you need not write all these steps in the exam. You can cut down the number of steps. I am just giving you the detailed solution. So divide both sides by x. So what do we get? Uh, we get x squared by x is x plus 1 by x will remain 1 by x equal to 3x by x is 3. So this is an important uh, result that we have obtained here. x plus 1 by x equal to 3. Right? The given equation was x squared minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. By simplifying that in some way we get x plus 1 by x equal to 3. Now I think this will be helpful in finding out the answer here. Look at the expression x squared plus x plus 1 by x plus 1 by x squared. I think we have already obtained the value of x plus 1 by x. Directly we can take it as 3. But what we need to find out more here is x squared plus 1 by x squared. Right? If at all we get what is x squared plus 1 by x squared, we can just substitute that value plus 3 and get the required answer. So how do we get x squared plus 1 by x squared? Let's let square on both the sides because a, a plus b the whole square will give us a square plus b square plus 2ab. So x square plus 1 by x square will be obtained. Let's see what happens. So now we are squaring both the sides. So x plus 1 by x whole square. What do we get? x squared plus 1 by x square. a square plus b square plus 2ab. So 2 into x into 1 by x equals to 3 square 9. Alright. a plus b whole square and on this side they have got 3 square. Now a squared plus b squared is what we need x squared plus 1 by x squared. Now look at 2ab 2 into x into 1 by x. x and x here gets cancelled. So what do we get? We get x squared plus 1 by x squared equals to 9 minus 2 right? 2 goes on the other side 9 minus 2 which is 7. That's it. So we now know what is x plus 1 by x and x squared plus 1 by x squared. Substitute here, right? x plus 1 by x is 3, x squared plus 1 by x squared is 7. 3 plus 7, 10 has to be the answer. So this will be equal to 10, which is option A.
right so as you see going by you know finding out the value of x or the finding out the values of the given variables and substituting those values in the expression may not be uh, simple in every case right so in those cases where it is getting complicated we'll have to go with the regular way of solving it now we may or may not get this way of uh, you know solving the question in the exam so either you just solve it this way if you get the idea or i think skip and move to the next one all right because there's no point in uh, calculating the value of x and then substituting that value here uh, to get the required answer. We'll end up, uh, you know, using about two three minutes, which doesn't make any sense, right? So either follow a quick and smart solution or just skip and go to the next one.